Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a three box break of 2023-24 Panini Select Basketball Hobby Edition. Pick your team number two. All card ship and um, if you bought a team, no, there's no minimum, just, I guess minimum is one team, but if you buy at least one team, you get a chance at the Spurs. So let's gather everybody's names here, one through 30. New dice, new list. Let's remove that blank spot right there. So one spot out of the 29 we get the Spurs for this three box break. Good luck. Let's roll and randomize it two and a four, six times. Name on top after six gets the Spurs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So a little drum roll here. Oh, Brian, very close, but appreciate you giving it a shot. But sad times. But after six, happy times for Eric. Eric Ng with the Spurs. Good luck. So now let's print and rip. Remember we cracked open a fresh case yesterday. So we've got three stacks of three now. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll to see which box we'll do. It's four, one, two, Three, four, so middle box right here. These we will save for the next three box break. Hopefully we can do another one tonight. That would be awesome. And so here's the final printout, hot off the presses. On a Chew Tuesday, the 14th. Three box, pick your team two. Good luck everybody here on this list. Thanks for getting in. See, well, let's see what we have in here. If you're watching live, stick around until after the break. We'll post another three box break. If you missed out on your teams the first time, you'll have a chance to get them next time. Good luck. You can vote in our YouTube poll as well. In the YouTube chat, Pretty simple question, who wins the first uh, playoff game tonight? The first of two. Pacers are in New York. Series is tied at two. Historically, the team that wins game five, makes sense, moves on about a little over 80% of the time. In a seven game NBA series, we'll move on to the next round, we'll win the series. Right now, people are saying New York got 80% of voters saying that the New York Knicks will go ahead 3-2 and probably win the series. When's the last time when's the last time the Knicks have been in a uh, Eastern Conference final? It's been a minute or two. But standing in their way is guys like him, Pascal Siakam. All card ship. There's Clay Thompson, red, white, and blue. And a die cut, Jalen Brown. 106 out of 249. That'll be for Evan and the Seas, the Celtics. And the first hit is a Jalen Slauson. Relic for the Sacramento Kings. That'll go to Evan. Joel Allen Bead. Got Jordan Miller for the Clippers. We've got another die cut. It's Lori Markin in 59 out of 175. It's for Tristan and the Utah Jazz. And we've got Franz Wagner, 25 out of 149. 
That will go to Evan in Orlando. It's Pazemski. And we've got a uh, a Starcade, Case and Wallace. I got I got to think that these are shorter printed, right? Yeah. Nice. Thunder, Evan, with OKC. How did uh How did Case and Wallace do yesterday? Thunder beat the Mavs 100 to 96. I think Case and Wallace got a little time. Yeah, 19 minutes, six points, a block, plus five on the plus minus, two for two from three. Those are his only two shots. There you go, Evan with OKC. Pazemski is going to go to Eric and the Warriors. Concourse parallel. Lakers could have used him. They passed on him. <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton. There's a Brandon Miller rookie card and a LeBron James courtside. I think these are one of the shorter prints right here. That's Evan with my Lakers. Let's see who LeBron selects as, or I mean, let's see who the Lakers front office selects for their new coach. There's Brandon Miller. That's going to go to Brian, uh, yeah, Brian Watford and Charlotte. It's concourse edition. And we got a Julian Swather, Strother, draft selections relic. Going to Denver, that'll be for Evan. Got an Amen Thompson, red, white, and blue for the Rockets. It's going to go to Brian. There is Enfuego, Steph Curry. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those. There's Shaden Sharp to 249. These cards slipping around all over the place. The autograph is a redemption. So the Shade and Sharp Blue Scope will go to Portland to 249. It'll be for Brian. And the Enfuego Steph Curry, which I don't think I've seen a lot of. I don't know how common or not common these are, but that's still cool. That's going to go to Eric. Any guesses on the redemption? If you're registered to the site, jaspiescasebreaks.com, and you guess that redemption, I'll give you uh, I'll give you five dollars of break credit. James is guessing Luca, and no repeat guesses. So now James is taking Luca, so you you can't guess Luca, and only one guess per person. $5 doesn't, doesn't move the needle for someone to type something in the chat. $10 a break credit then. <laughs> Just one guess per person, James. All right, Kevin guesses Donovan Mitchell. Steve guessing Steven Adams. All right. We'll put in the chat, guess window closed. Let's see what it's going to be. Sorry, Logan, you're after the guest window. So is Mark. Signatures could be anybody. 
Double check to make sure you're watching live, everybody. Sometimes the YouTube gets goofy and delays your stream, kicks you back a little bit. It's with the letter C. No one, I don't think anyone guessed a player with the letter C. C H. Chris, Christopher, Chris, Chris Paul. Nice. He should be. He shouldn't be card two. Uh, what edition of Chris Paul is this going to be? Let's go to the checklist. 23, 24, select basketball checklist. Uh, let's see, autographs, Chris Paul, card two, signatures. It's Golden State Warriors edition of Chris Paul. So that's gonna go to Eric. Signatures, card two, Golden State Warriors. Should be to 149. All right, there you go, Eric. All right, in the next box, second box of three. Stick around, folks. After this break, we'll uh, post the next three box break. Jalen Pickett. We've got a Chet Holmgren to 175 in the, I don't know, is that maroon? Like a Merlot, a Bordeaux kind of color right there. It's gonna go to OKC, a wine color. Do they have the official parallels listed here? I think so. They're gonna call that I don't have it, it doesn't say. Oh no, it does say. Flash purple prism? I don't know, I don't like that. Nice, Jaime Jaquez. Another player that the Lakers pass on that they could have used. Rookie silver, that's gonna go to Nicholas. In the Miami Heat. The Heat is on. That is concourse level. Ooh, nice. That, that Bowman baseball break is pretty close. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Cam Whitmore, another player the Lakers passed on in last year's draft. Instead, they got Jalen Hood Shafino, who barely featured for the Lakers. It's Jaron Jackson Jr., 144 out of 249. Blue die cut for the Grizz. Nicholas. We got some Scoot Henderson for the Trailblazers. That's going to be for Brian. Right, yeah. Did you see Bronny's impressive scrimmage in his impressive scrimmage line, James? There's Enfuego Luca and an Anthony Black die cut, 148 out of 149. Maybe these are a little more common than I thought, but this will go to Brian in Dallas. Anthony Black will also it will go to Evan and Orlando. Nice Brandon Miller, and we got a Kobe Bufkin draft selections. Relic for Atlanta. Evan with the ATL. ESPN was hyping up. Oh, man. That, that's a disservice to Bronny. Poor kid. Here's Brandon Miller going to Brian and Charlotte. Yeah, he played like 19 minutes, had four points and four rebounds. No assists. Two turnovers. Like 0 for 4 from 3 or something like that. Nice Scotty Barnes in flight autograph. That's a cool design. I like that. That's going to be for Toronto. Evan with the Raptors. 60 out of 149. Nice. Austin Reeves, who might be a trade candidate. Lakers might gut the team to get a third star. Maybe Donovan Mitchell, maybe Trey Young. There's Franz Wagner. 
Uh, 94 out of 99. That's going to be a purple die cut for Evan. I hope the Magic pick him just because LeBron said he would never play there. Now he's like, now what do you do, LeBron? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think Bryce James definitely has the the more NBA the NBA potential. There's Buddy Heel, throwback memorabilia. I mean, Bronny was even that great in high school, to be honest with you. He's better than any of us, obviously. But in terms of comparing him to other NBA potential talent, I don't think he really was lighting things up in high school, and I don't think he was, you know, he clearly didn't really, I know there was the heart issue, but I don't think he was really lighting it up in college. I mean, it might require a little more seasoning for for Bronny to to get regular minutes as a at best a role player in the league, you know. But I think Bryce is supposed to be uh, a more realistic, you know, NBA uh, prospect. Yeah, Bryce definitely has. He's got the size. I mean, no doubt, Bronny. I think has the has the basketball IQ. People say he's a he's a willing defender. You hope that I think three and D guy. You know, is probably what you would hope. But he's a little undersized. We were looking at smaller guards in the league, and we were just like, man, if you can get Jose Alvarado production out of Bronny in the in the NBA, I think that that's probably that's probably the seal. Anything more than that's a bonus. That I mean, that's the other thing too. I mean hopefully I mean having a bad having some bad scrimmages at the uh, NBA combine might actually help because he might actually think maybe I should just go back to school. I think if he'd get some seasoning Gets a, gets a little time to bulk up that small smaller frame, you know. I think that that would be the best for his stock. There's Scoot Henderson and Clay Thompson, who's going to be a free agent after, after the end of the season unless he signs an extension with the Warriors. It's going to go to Eric. I'm sure, a lot of teams could, could use a Clay Thompson. It'll be for Eric and the Warriors. Here's another scoot for Brian and the Blazers. Asur Thompson, his brother Amen Thompson. Amen Thompson, Amen Thompson, Amen Thompson. We'll go to the Rockets. That's going to be for Brian and his twin brother is also going to go to Brian. He has Detroit as well. We got Chet Holmgren, 009 out of 249. Oh, I wasn't trying to downplay the heart issue, the uh, cardiac arrest, Eddie. I mean, it's just everyone knows. I didn't, I didn't feel like I didn't need to belabor the point. Things everybody's been knows the story. It's Kobe Bufkin and the Hawks. He's been, he's been medically cleared, though, as of last year and by an independent panel of doctors at the NBA Combine. It's Evan. There's Jalen hood Shafino. Lakers got him instead of Cam Whitmore, Brandon Pazemski, Jaime Hawkes. He ended up having surgery on his back. Scoot Anderson Red, nice color match. 144 out of 199. Brian and the Blazers. There's a Sewer Thompson. And GG Jackson, 27 out of 49. Rookie, patch, autograph. I feel like he had a really solid season. That's going to go to Nicholas and the Grizz.
It's a cool patch too. Nice little color match as well. De'Aaron Fox, Derek Lively looking lively in the playoffs. For Dallas, that'll be for Brian. Anthony Davis, unstoppable, unless he's playing that guy. And there we go. I was like, are we going to see any Victor Wembanyamas? We are. 25 out of 175. Victor Wembanyama rookie die cut. 25 out of 175. That's awesome. And that Merlot parallel. Spurs. Eric won the Spurs. Congrats. It's a cool looking card. And there's Michael Bridges. Throwback memorabilia. That's for the Suns. That's for Robert. So at least we got that one Victor. That's 85 out of 99 for Robert. And what else are we going to close? Another Victor Wembanyama. There we go. And there is Dame right there. So base Victor Wembanyama. Another one for Eric. And this one is Concourse. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Three box break of select basketball in the books. We're looking for Victor Wembanyama's buy a team. And you can chase after the Spurs. A lot of fun parallels as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.